Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code. And in this video guys, I'm going to show you how you can create line chart inside your JavaFX application. So we will create a new application right now and we're just going to use the JavaFX FXML application. And then we're going to name our project as demo line, uh, line chart. And then the FXML file will be main.fxml and then of course the application class we're gonna use org.semaxcode.demo and then main.java file and click on finish so basically guys I'm going to walk you through all the steps on how you could create a simple implementation of a line chart in JavaFX so for now let's open up our main.fxml file and literally add the um, line chart into our layout so basically this is the basic layout or default layout of our project the anchor pane with all the buttons included and yeah we're going to use this um, let me resize first the anchor pane so for example 600 by um, 400 okay and then i'm just going to move the label and of course the button below right here and I'm going to change the text into load line chart so basically what we're trying to do here is every time we click on this button it should click or I mean it should load the line chart into the or I mean the data into the uh, line chart so for now let's add the line chart element so all we have to do is um, um, search for the line chart and then um, drag and drop it here into our anchor pane right here and then of course you could resize this into our preferred um, height and width okay and now we could add the um, FX ID into our line chart so for example let's just name it as line chart there you go and of course guys as always the same with the other chart types we could add title and we could set different options right here and you could set the animation the title uh, location and other options that are available here so for example this will be um, COVID-19 cases this is just you know guys a basic example we're just going to use the number of COVID-19 cases just to have a basic example for our line chart so save your main.fxml file and then go back to netpeans id and in here guys we need to modify and update our main controller so make a, uh, make a controller and then it's going to update our main controller and it's going to include now the line chart um, element okay and then in here we could set this into string and then of course this one is number and then right here in our handle button action we could set the data into our um, line chart so in order for us to add data to the line chart we need to, to use the XY chart class and then series and then of course we need to specify also the type which is string and then number the same with uh, what, we're, what we are using here in our line chart um, element okay and then of course the name of the series uh, for now let's name it as series and then equals new xy chart and then series and then of course we need to specify also the type okay which is string and number and then we need to remove the extra um, close parenthesis okay and then right here we could set the data so all we have to do is uh, say for example series and then get data and of course we could add new data by using the add method and then of course the XY chart data um, class so new XY chart and then data 
and of course guys this should have the string and number and then of course open close parenthesis and this is the actual string and the actual value that the, uh, that we want so for example in january 2020 just for the sake of this example guys we're gonna use uh, the month and then of course the number of cases for example this is just um, an example guys uh, we don't uh, have the actual data for this but uh, we're just going to assume that the number of cases for january is 213 or something okay and then we could copy and paste this to add more items to our series so for example uh, this is for december december and then february feb and then cases for march and then cases for april so we're going to change of course the values here so 301 and this is so for example 156 this is 158 or 168 and this one will be 220 okay and after that guys we need to name our, or add a name to our series so for example series that set name and of course we could say here number of cases okay and after that we need to um, add the series into our line chart so line chart and then of course get data and then method add and of course specifying the series that we have created okay so now let's try to save our file and then clean and build just to have the or you know to reflect the changes that we have made into our project java effects so we need to build it and then run our project demo line chart and it should output this way and it should load the data once we click on this particular button load line chart so it's going to load the data that we have from december january february march and april okay you could always you know do that and as you can see here guys it's adding um, lines to our um, line chart so number of cases number of cases so in order for us to prevent that we need to call the method or clear first the data from our line chart before we add the line so what we can do here is line chart and then get data and then we could call the method clear so it's gonna clear the data that we have from from our line chart and then we could try this once again and of course it should solve our problem and as you can see here we have number of cases there's only one line to our line chart but you know of course there are cases that you want to add multiple lines you could you could add also um, several lines to our line chart so for example another color that could depict um, uh, another set of values for december january february and so for example this is uh, in a certain country the orange um, line represent the cases for a certain country and then we could add another line for another country so we could do that guys let's go back to our um, main controller and we could add another series here right here and um, we could say here we could I mean we could copy and paste this particular lines of code and then instead of using number of cases we could say here this is from Italy and this is from China okay number of cases and of course we need to change the series name and we could add another one for for example series 3 and it's going to be um, Philippines okay 
So there, there are basically three countries that we are concerned. The number of cases of Italy, China, and Philippines. And then, of course, we could change the values here. For example, for China, we could uh, beef up the number by, say, for example, 560. And this one will be 600, 780, and then 300 cases. And this will be 761. Okay, and for the Philippines, we will add or modify the values also. So 86, or I mean 65, and then 86, and 86, and then um, 102, and then 200, and then, so for example, 560. Or we could make it like um, 569 there you go so we have basically three series right now the Italy China and Philippines we could save a, uh, save our project and then clean and build and of course run our project once again just to see the output that we have so COVID-19 cases and then every time we click on this it's going to um, load the data but as you can see we're not having the expected output that's why we need to modify our main controller and actually add the other series to the um, line chart so add all instead of add method and then of course we need to specify series 2 and series 3 also okay and then run our project and it should have the expected output for our JavaFX um, line chart so what we're doing here is we're not getting the actual report once again that's because let's see I see so um, instead of using series 2 here we're just using seri uh, the series uh, object so we're going to change this okay and of course the same with the series 3 because we're adding it to the wrong series I mean the, the data for this series Philippines we're adding it to the Italy which is not uh, we should not do that because it's going to mess up the output of our program so run once again and then it should have now the output okay so as you can see here we have now a beautiful looking line chart with the animation and um, we could see the series name the Italy China and the, the Philippines and then it's going to showcase the number of cases per country Okay, so that's how easy, guys, for us to create, you know, line chart in JavaFX. And if you have questions, guys, please let me know in the comment section below. We will try to answer all your questions regarding line charts and um, all the topics um, related to JavaFX. And, of course, guys, you have always the option to position the labels, the position, the legends, and all that um, specific elements inside our line chart. So, again, guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.